Thank you for downloading Farmax Generation 7. This tutorial video will walk you through how to navigate around the new welcome screen of Farmax. Now when you open up Farmax you'll be greeted with this welcome screen you see here. Now when you go to do your monthly updates you will open your Farmax farm file from here instead of the original location you have been using previously. So now we will walk through the welcome screen we will work from right to left navigating through the three columns you see in front of you. You will notice at the top of the first column your name. This means that you are working under your license that you have with us at Farmax. In this first column you have a list of all the farms that you have access to. This column tells you the farm name the month that the monitoring file has been updated to, status, so this means where the file is currently sitting, so for example if it says farmer, this means the file is currently with the farmer for monthly updates, if this says consultant, this means the file is currently with the consultant for review, and if this says analysis only, this means it is not a monitoring file. And lastly, edited. This shows the date and the person's initials of who last edited the monitoring file. So now I will select a farm. You will notice it is blue. This means that it is selected. Moving to the middle column, you will notice the farm name at the top of this column. This is the part of the screen where you'll manage the storage of your files as well as the folders that you have access to. You will notice there are four folders listed here. These are default folders that have been set up for you to begin with. You have your monitoring folder, your plans folder, your annual reports folder, and lastly your scenarios folder. The monitoring folder by default will hold your monitoring or actual file only. Your plans folder for best practice should hold your budgeted plan which you would have completed prior to your monitoring file. You would have noticed that your plan and actual have now been separated to be two separate files. If you would like to compare the plan and actual, you just need to open both your plan and your actual together. So that's using your add button, but I will demonstrate this later. Your annual reports folder holds any Farmax file that has been used in annual reporting. Your scenarios folders are for storing files that you have created to do your what if scenarios. If you wanted to create a new scenarios folder, click on the folder so it turns blue. Then right click on this folder and you will notice there's a new folder option. If I click this, it brings up this naming box here. So for example, I'll type in the name and click OK. You will notice down here my folder has come up. I'll also point out that you'll notice little arrows at the far left hand side of all your folders. If an arrow is white, this means that there are files within this folder. If the arrow is grey, this means there are currently no files within this folder. If you would like to rename a current scenario folder you have, all you need to do is select the folder you would like to rename, right click and choose rename folder. And this brings up the same naming screen we saw previously. So I'll type in my name so say I would like to look at some drought conditions and then click OK and you'll notice this is updated here. Now what we will do is we'll start looking at completing our monthly updates 
for the month. And to do this, we need to go in the third column of this welcome screen, which is our file column. But firstly, I need to select my monitoring file, my actual. So after selecting my monitoring file, it has given me details about my file in the file column. So at the top, it has labeled this column to say that I'm looking at my monitoring file for this farm. It has also given me some description below here. So here it says unlocked. And what this means is the file is currently unlocked. So therefore I can go in and make my monthly updates. If this was to say locked, this means that the file has currently been locked by my consultant or by the Farmax help desk. And it will say by who here. Below here, it gives me the details of when the file was last modified and by who. And also it tells me who I am to this farm. So I am the farmer. In the next section, this tells me what month my file is currently up to and that it is ready for updates. Just below here, this is a notes section. In this section it will display any notes that have been last entered into the Farmax file either by yourself or by the consultant. Now you will notice this update status button. This button is very important because once you finish your monthly updates, this is how you notify your consultant to say the file is ready to be reviewed. So if I click this button, it brings up an update status screen here. So what I will do is I will tick file has been updated by farmer and you'll notice this is populated send email to consultant so this is notifying the consultant that you are ready for this file to be reviewed so now I will click OK you'll also notice that my description has updated the file is now ready for review. So now that we've received the file back from our consultant, you will notice here that our current month for this file has been updated to May 2015. So now we can go ahead and start entering our monthly updates for May. To do this, we go to the bottom of the welcome screen here and choose open. This then takes us into Farmax, where it is business as usual. So now I will demonstrate how you can compare your plan and actual. So we already have our actual open. So now I will add in my plans file. To do this, I'll go up to my toolbar and choose this add button here. As you can see, this takes me back to that welcome screen. I'll choose my farm in the farm column. And then in the middle here, I'll just note, you'll notice the actual is greyed out. So this means that the file is currently open. If I click on this file, it'll give me a little bit more of a description and it tells me that it's locked by me, so I'm currently using the file. So now I will choose my plans file under my plans folder. So if I click original plans 14, 15, I will then go into my file column and down the bottom of the screen, I'll choose add. As you can see, it has added my plan and also kept my actual. Also you have this all farms level which shows the comparisons data. So you have your compare reports and your combined reports.
So now that I'm finished with comparing my files, I would like to close my original plans file. To do this, I will select the top level of my original plans file, go up to my toolbar and choose close. Farmax then prompts me to save this file. Now because this is my plans file, I don't want to make any changes to this file so I'm going to choose no. To save my actual file after completing any changes, you can go up to your toolbar and choose save. This will save in the same location within the welcome screen where we open this file from. And this will also sync to the cloud. Now I will demonstrate how to run a what if scenario off my actual file. To do this, I need to create a copy of my actual and rename it. So at this stage, you will notice up here my file name. So it has my farm name and also my file name, which is actual. To create my scenario file, I will choose my file menu here and then to save as. This then takes me back to that welcome screen. I'll first of all choose my farm and then in my folders column I will select the folder that I would like to save this file under and then in my file column you will notice I have a new file name text box and I can type in here the name I would like to call this file. And then at the bottom of the screen, I will choose save. And as you can see, it is synchronizing with the cloud. And this means that it is just saving. Now, as you can see at the top here, my file has now changed to drought. So we're now looking at our scenario file. So once I have made my necessary changes in this file, I will choose save, which then saves it to the cloud. If I would like to compare this against my actual, I can choose add as I demonstrated previously. But for now, I will choose close. And this closes the file for me and also synchronizes with the cloud with any changes. To get back to my welcome screen to open another file, I can choose open. So this concludes the tutorial. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact the help desk.